this is Valheim. Again. In my last video, I found that there was still so much more I had to say about this amazing game, so I decided to make another video. I've also played through most of it again, so this time around I'm not going to be looking at it with rose-tinted glasses as much. Instead of singing its praises today, I'm going to suggest what I think are some much-needed improvements to the game that won't disrupt the overall experience. Please feel free to comment and tell me I'm wrong at every point. Fair warning, this is all going to be quite critical. Before we get into it, please consider subscribing. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos, and I want to keep building my channel. The first change I'd make to Valheim is one that I don't think I've seen anyone mention, which is kind of funny to me. Has anyone ever noticed how hilariously basic and inconsistent some of the UI icons are? They've always stood out to me. They aren't really the same quality as other parts of the UI, and they aren't thematic either. I assumed they were just placeholders the first time I saw them, but lo and behold, they're still in the game after a few big updates. I mean, just look at the over-encumbered icon. Is that little guy meant to be a viking? This is perhaps the most unpolished part of the whole game, which is sort of a compliment as much as it is a critique. Just look at how inconsistent some of the icons are for the items. Like, compare the wolf jerky to the root mask. Or bread to ooze. I legitimately think some were made on paint. The building icons look fine for the most part. They could be separated into tiers though, because it does get a little hard to find stuff in the lead game. And then, ah, oh, yeah, okay, I, I forgot about the stone stairs. Why is this such a low quality when the others aren't? These icons are a small thing to fix, but I really don't think they're on anyone's radar at the moment, so I thought I'd bring them up. The next thing is Valheim's inventory management system. It's quite dated. I've heard a lot of friends and people on Reddit complain about this, and it's such an easy fix. All we need is a stack button and a sort button. That's it. That's literally the whole solution. Managing chests shouldn't be part of the gameplay experience. It's not fun. People also complain about there not being equipment slots. This is one that I never really thought there was an issue with. I usually just put my equipables on one side, and that's basically the same as having slots for the equipment. I'd say that it creates a dynamic where you have to use less equipment if you want more inventory space, but nobody really does that. Overall, I think equipment slots wouldn't really change all that much. Change number three. Armor is essential throughout a playthrough, and it therefore acts as a kind of gatekeeper. You mine the next tier of metal, and make the next tier of armor, so that you can survive the next biome. My issue with it is that all the armors after the first tier in the game slow you down. Now on paper this makes sense, armor is made of metal and that's heavy, so it slows you, but in gameplay it effectively does nothing. Let me explain. The intention of the system is likely to create a dynamic where you have to choose between higher speed or greater protection. Not unlike something you'd find in another RPG. But the problem in Valheim is that there isn't really an alternative choice to the heavier armors. There are the specialist armors which are a bit lighter, but those are meant to buff specific weapon types. Not to mention how unaffordable they can be. 20 Fenris here for one piece. How much do we have? 15 after three ice caves. The lighter armors also reduce speed. So what's the point of this? If everyone is suffering from a speed reduction all of the time, then effectively no one is. The only way I've seen this really affect gameplay is that people just go naked when they're running around the base where it's safe. Which is a bit silly if you ask me. Oh, and you're a bit faster when you do a corpse run. This critique might be specific to how I play the game, so if anyone plays the game like a Dark Souls speedrunner, running around naked with a big club, comment below. The next thing I wanted to talk about was how to improve the food system. People often complain that it's a bit grindy, and as the resident farmer and cook of my playthrough group, I feel like I have some authority to speak on this. Currently, there are some things that could be sped up a little. Bulk cooking, like you bulk make bronze, could be a nice start, but without cluttering the cooking menu with times 5 variants for each food item. The cultivator should also have some kind of harvest function, like you can just harvest with the same radial that you cultivate with, just because individually picking carrots doesn't really add anything to the experience. Also, maybe I've just optimized the heck out of the cooking experience, but it really seems like some foods are just much more cost effective than others. To the point where some foods just don't get made. For example, you're always going to be fighting more Draga than you'll fight leeches when you're in the swamps, so you're always going to have more intestines for sausages than you will have blood bags for all the things they make. The potions you need them for are also way more essential, so you'll basically never be making the food items that you need blood bags for. However, this all pales in comparison to the worst part of the cooking experience. Turnips and onions are just impossible to find. These are so rare that I've never once found them naturally during gameplay. We've always had to set sail to explore more biomes, to go and find what is basically a necessity to keep progressing. When I found out that you only find onions in chests in the mountain biomes, I just couldn't believe it. 
the thought process was likely that you should find a new food item for a cooking pot upgrade in each new biome. But they didn't think about the frozen mountain biome. So they said fuck it, just put them as a random spawn in chests. You can search several mountains before you'll find even one seed for onions. And the same goes for the turnips in the swamps. Now these food items aren't essential, but it's definitely going to ramp up the difficulty and grindiness of the game if you don't have access to the next tier of food. This is what I'd probably consider the biggest design flaw in the whole game. The great vegetable issue, if you will. I, I don't know, just, just make them spawn more please, and put the onion somewhere else. Combat in Valheim is a contentious point. I think a lot of people dislike the Dark Souls-y stamina management. It encourages you not to panic, because that gets you killed. You really have to pay attention in fights and flee when you're outnumbered. It also encourages clever preparation, with weapon damage types having significant advantages to certain enemies, and things like poison resistance being essential. It's a great system, but it interestingly suffers from a similar thing that the Dark Souls games did. Light attacks with a light weapon is just the best solution for killing things. The animations in Valam are all quite slow and a little clumsy, so players are naturally drawn to the weapons that are quicker and easier to use. On my most recent playthrough I tried using the heavier axes and the tower shield, but the reduced speed of your attacks and movement is not really worth the marginal damage increase you get. The bigger weapons are clearly designed for crowd control, with the amazing stun and wide arc of the great axes, but the issue is that you don't really fight huge crowds of enemies in this game. And a lot of the enemies use hit and run tactics, so you really can't make the most of these weapons. This leads to the best builds being the quicker ones. I think this is pretty easy to fix, because the slower weapons just need a slight damage buff. My logic is that if they're harder to use and more expensive, a skilled player should be rewarded for using them. They shouldn't be balanced to be on par with the smaller weapons, damage wise. You can see that the devs have been trying to include more weapon variety in the game, with the new fist weapons and the teased concept art. Map generation in Valheim needs some love. Procedurally generated maps offer a lot of replayability, as each map is unique. But they have the issue of being really messy, and the game suffers from just this. The way the map gen is set out is quite basic. Players start in the middle, and the further they go from the center, the more dangerous it gets. The idea here is that the player is meant to set sail for adventure, like a viking would, to find land and to progress from biome to biome. Each one being a stepping stone of progress, with the traditional order in which you should experience them. Yada yada, you've played Valheim, you know the spiel. However, my issue with this is that it sometimes can be incredibly unsatisfying exploring, because of how the land masses generate. There are countless weirdly shaped and unusable islands throughout any playthrough. There's nothing worse than landing on an island and finding out it's smaller than your back garden, with about as many usable resources. By taking a look at the entire map, you can kind of see how the map gen works. You can see that the land masses are placed before things like biomes and rivers are. This creates really jagged terrain and biome edges that are unrealistic and quite ugly. I think making this less chaotic could really help. Perhaps if there were large islands with a maximum of two or three biomes, it would be more rewarding to find each one. Bigger river inlets and interior rivers could also make it so that ships are still used as much as they currently are. Having fewer larger islands would also reduce the chance of not getting what you need from a biome. This would stop you from having to replay the same gameplay experience of trying to find a slightly bigger biome that you've already explored. Re-experiencing a biome over and over again just isn't fun. This change wouldn't detract from the sense of adventure, as setting off to find an island would still be exciting and perilous. My last issue with Valheim is one that I can best describe with memes I find on Reddit. Iron in this game is the most valuable metal, as you use it the most and for the longest period of all the metals. However, despite needing more of it as you progress, you don't find more sources of it until the mistlands, so you're encouraged to make return trips to the swamps. However, you've already experienced the swamps, so it feels a bit like unnecessary backpedaling. Why can't the mountain biome just have iron deposits too? I understand the whole thing they were doing with emulating bog iron in the swamp, but surely they don't want players to keep having to go back to this biome. The game is at its best when players are experiencing new challenges and opportunities, so making you go backwards is not the right call. Overall, I think a lot of these changes are quite easy to make, and wouldn't negatively impact the experience the game has laid out. Adventure and adversity are Valheim's strong points and the more it can refine these experiences, the better. It really is a great game, but I think as many of us have come to see, the smaller dev team means things are going to take a little longer to develop. I really hope changes like this come to the game, but if they don't, I still know that I'll be returning to Valheim every single update. Thanks for watching.